What is up guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Anthony Esparza and today I am so excited to finally bring you my full-on Solar guitar review of my Solar 8 2.7 LN. <laughs> Uh, this is a guitar I've been so excited to review for you guys since I purchased it and I really, 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 really cannot wait to dig into the specs of this guitar. But before we get started on the video, I just want to send you guys a very friendly reminder to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. You don't want to miss out on what I got going on. You know, all of April I'm dropping solar guitar videos, uh, you know, with my new um, a 2.7. I have a Mortal Kombat on a seven string video that I'm gonna be dropping this month as well. You guys don't wanna miss out. I have a lot, a lot of killer stuff coming out this year. Plus, if you're a PodGo user, my channel is your go-to channel for uh, anything PodGo. I, I do a lot of fun stuff. I do demonstrations. I dig into some presets. I show you guys some custom presets. I share with you guys some of the presets I already built in. Lots, lots of fun stuff regarding Line 6 PodGo. Uh, in a metal format, by the way. I'm not really doing blues rock or, you know, old school rock music. It's more metal. You guys want to check that out. Anyways, enough talk. You guys are here for the Solar A2.7. You guys are here to check out my brand new dream solar guitar. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. Let's go ahead, let's get into it. All right, folks, the time has come. Here it is right here. This is my Solar A2.7 LN. This guitar is so, so fucking badass. So I used this guitar recently during a live practice with my band, Defy the Tyrants, and it sounded amazing. It cut through very well. The low end sounded great. In fact, this guitar has a lot of low end, and I think it's because of the Solar Duncan pickups that come with the guitar. So my initial thoughts on this guitar, one, it's a very, very light guitar doesn't weigh very much it was very easy on my back when I was using it at practice recently but once I plugged it into my Reaper setup as well as my EVH head going to my crate cab I noticed that there was uh, a lot of low end coming through the guitar I believe it's because of the solar duck and pickups it just gives the low end a lot more crunch and it makes them pop out a little bit more I don't think you can get them anywhere else in the world uh, except obviously if you order online from solar guitars uh, which I haven't checked that so don't quote me on that uh, but I think that's where you can get them or Amazon or eBay in fact I'll say this, I believe that this kind of guitar is built specifically for a live format. I noticed that when I was uh, tracking some stuff with this guitar, uh, the, the low end was coming through, but it wasn't coming out as much as it was coming through the amps. I believe the best way to track a guitar like this in, uh, in a studio is literally to mic up your amp or your cab, whatever the case might be. Uh, I don't know if uh, plug-in software works that well with this kind of guitar, because I think that with plug-in software, you get a very generic sound. You'll get a little bit of the natural tone of the guitar to come through, but overall it's basically just plug-in software, whereas in a live setting, you really, really hear the power of a guitar like this. What I love too aesthetically about this guitar is the cuts that are right here. Uh, with this guitar, you didn't see it too much in the picture online, but uh, as soon as I purchase a guitar, obviously you can see like a little bit of the shadow area where the cuts come out. And honestly, I think it's just for performance. Um, it really enhances the performance aspect of this guitar. I'm able to get down here with ease. If I was to get my ESP or my Schecter and show you guys like just like the scale of where my pinky is, uh, it would be fairly difficult to do so. Another great thing about this guitar is that the solar inlay is the only thing 
on the neck. You don't have your frit dots anywhere else on the neck to distract from the logo or the wonderful artwork that just adds to it. But you do get your fret dots on the side. So for live use, this would be an effective way for me to be able to keep track of um, of the frets, you know, because it's dark and everything, without having to lose myself, uh, you know, w with no kind of uh, fret map. Which I think is really cool, and another reason why I say this guitar is built for live use, because you have um, the main aesthetic of the guitar, as well as all the technical stuff inside and on the sides of the guitar. This guitar does come with solar tuners. I do kind of wish it came with locking tuners. I'm a big fan of locking tuners, uh, but you know, that's just a very small complaint, and if I wanted to upgrade, uh, I could do so easily without it uh, impacting my wallet hugely or bigly or hugely or bigly whatever another one of my favorite aspects of this guitar is the reverse headstock i don't own any reverse headstock guitars and uh you know i didn't really think it was going to be that big of a deal until i actually got the guitar and i was able to plug in and stand up and play and start jamming with my band and it just kind of i don't know what i, I don't know what it is it just kind of levels the guitar out it doesn't lean one way or the other when it's on my strap it kind of just stays here it's nice and balanced maybe that has something to do with the reverse headstock, I don't know, with my Schecter and my ESP, um, I do have some issues where maybe it'll lean one side or the other, and uh, that'll happen on stage two, and that can hurt your back a little bit. Uh, so this guitar is very, very well balanced. And on top of that, it just looks killer. It looks cool as shit. This guitar also comes with a fixed bridge. Uh, this is the kind of bridge that I would have to set up uh, but so far, I haven't really had too many problems with it. I have had guitars before with fixed bridges, and um, nine times out of ten, I have to set them up. But this guitar, maybe I got lucky, but it just feels right. I didn't really feel the need to um, have to set up the fixed bridge, but uh, overall, it just felt great. The scale length is uh, 26.5 inches with uh, 24 jumbo frets. The scale length I like a lot because for my band's next grip of songs that we're going to be... Uh, writing and recording we're gonna be experimenting with lower tunings and that's something I haven't really been able to do to do with my other guitars so this is my first guitar where I have more of a lengthier scale and that's really gonna help um, help out with a lot, of, a lot of the lower tunings that we're gonna be experimenting with so if you're somebody who you play uh, way lower than maybe an A uh, maybe getting a guitar like this with more of a lengthy scale would definitely help out a lot uh, it would help out with the intonation of the lower tunings and uh, really give you a nice good chunk out of the tone but yeah man this guitar is just amazing this guitar is killer i love this guitar uh i highly advise solo guitars to anybody who is uh in the market right now and even if you're not wouldn't hurt to put a little penny away every now and then uh so eventually you can get your own solo guitar this is definitely something that i didn't think would happen in my wildest dreams i thought i would always be stuck with maybe an esp or a, or a Schecter or something like that which i don't have anything against those brands uh but you know i've been wanting to move on and try to grow uh from the brands that i've been used to ever since i was a teenager and this is my first imported guitar this is the first kind of guitar that i got from an independent company not one of the mainstream music uh guitar companies and i really really feel very good about this guitar all right folks i really really hope that you enjoyed this video i had a lot of fun doing this one kind of fun i got to play my solar a little bit more which is uh, awesome what did you think of the a2.7 go ahead and let me know down below i actually asked this question on the unboxing video for the guitar but what do you guys think about solo guitars are they hyped up are they uh, being gassed up by the metal community or is it a legit brand could this be something that takes on some of the bigger brands in the music industry you guys go ahead let me know in the comments below and also don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel i got a lot of great stuff coming out this summer you guys are not going to want to miss out and uh yeah hit the notification bell as well all right folks i want you guys to remember stay safe wash your ass scrub your ass cheeks wash your hands wash them and you guys always remember, keep it heavy.